welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean a dog's ear and I'm going to be using one of my dogs to demonstrate this. Now this is going to come in really useful for people who have dogs with floppy ears because those breeds such as Labs, Basset Hounds, Bulldogs, they're very prone to ear infections and they actually need regular ear cleanings in order to prevent this. And even dogs that do have straight ears, such as corgis or huskies, sometimes they also need regular ear cleaning as well. And dogs with allergies also need regular ear cleaning because they have so much buildup in their ears. Or maybe your vet has told you to clean your dog's ears as part of their treatment and you're unsure of how to do it correctly. Well, this video is going to help you. First of all, you're going to want to get a really good ear cleaning solution. This is going to help take out the dirt and prevent infection. So for this, I recommend Zymox Ear Cleanser, and this is going to help relieve itchy ears as well. If your dogs have really itchy ears, either from allergies or just from having really dirty ears, this is really going to give them some relief. This is non-toxic and should be used for dogs that do not have ear infections. Now, if your dog does have an ear infection, Zymox actually has a different product for you to use in that situation. This ear solution with hydrocodone is going to help inflamed ears a lot. Now, if your dog does have an ear infection, it's very important for you to talk to your vet and find out what the cause of the infection is. Because even with the right treatment, your dog is not going to get better if you don't know what the cause is. And if you want to go ahead and use this one for their ear infection, just be sure to let your vet know and talk to them about it because it's really important for you and your vet to know what treatment options you guys are going to go with. I like this one in particular because it is less invasive than some of the very heavy medications that are used for ear infections. Caspian, for example, does sometimes have bad reactions to medications. So I like to see if there is an easier route to take first to see if that solves the problem before heavily medicating him. So I really like this as a first course of action for ear infections. So hopefully now you know which one of these is the right one to use for your dog in this situation. And now I will be demonstrating how to use these the correct way. First, I want to show you a diagram of a dog's ear canal so that you understand what you need to clean. Their ear canal is much longer than a human's ear canal. You will only be able to see right up to about this part of the ear, but the whole ear canal needs to be cleaned. All of this. And when using swabs to clean, you don't want to go past this part. I decided to use Luna for this demonstration because it's very hard to see into Caspian's ear with all of the hair. And Luna has those big nice corgi ears that are easy to see into. This is a lot easier if you have someone to hold the dog for you while you clean your ears. But for now, I will be holding Luna while I clean her ears. You can see her ears are a little dirty, so if you see this, you know it's a good time to clean. So first, you want to take your Zymox ear solution and fill up the ear. Don't be worried about using too much. Make sure you hold the ear up so that the solution goes into the ear canal. Now, in order to clean the part of the ear canal that we can't see, you have to massage this part of the ear. It's kind of back behind the ear and under the ear. Massage this area until you can hear a smacking sound. Once you hear that noise, you know that the solution has gone down the ear canal to the part that you can't see. If the ears are really dirty or infected, gunk will be coming out of the ears. And we are just going to wipe all of that away with swabs or gauze. I'm also using this to wipe away the excess dirt from her ear flap. Just remember, don't push the gauze too far down. Don't worry about getting all of the solution out of the ear. After you're done, your dog will shake its head and the rest will come out by itself. Some dogs are very sensitive about getting their ears cleaned, especially if it's infected and they're in a lot of discomfort. That's why it's always good to get them used to it before this happens, and regular cleaning can also prevent that from happening. Now, you can find these products on zmox.com, and you can either order them from there or you can go ahead and find out what stores carry them near you. There is a lot of pet stores that carry these products such as Petco and 
many others. And Zemox also has a lot of other products such as toothpaste and shampoos. And these are just great products for all dogs, but especially dogs with allergies. So if you do have dogs with allergies, be sure to try these products. All of the information for these ear cleaning solutions will be in the description of this video. Now, if you're wondering how often you need to clean your dog's ears, well, if your dog's ears are infected, your vet will give you a schedule and it's usually going to be about twice a day. Now, if your dog's ears are not infected and you just want to do regular ear cleanings to prevent infections, then you can do it about once a month if your dog has normal ears. However, if your dog suffers from allergies or just has dirty ears constantly, you're going to want to do it about every two weeks. But you want to become familiar with your dog's ears and just check on them regularly to see how much dirt is building up inside their ear. Thanks for watching this video and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. I put out two new videos on animals every week. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I put up an update on Buddy the Birdman over on my Facebook page, so be sure to check that out if you get a chance. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!